brand new sneaker addict DJ Dell's Pecan Yuan t-shirt to match the upcoming Sakini collaboration. Pop-up will be in the corner to get this tee or a link in the description box fits true to size. Now, as you can see, we got the 2017 Bread 13. This is a shoe a lot of us have been waiting to come back. I had it for the last time it released and I destroyed them. Creased like crazy, had to get rid of them. And finally, they are back. And this time, they're back with Reflective. Let's check the Reflective. Bang. Look at that. So lit. Hit that thumbs up button right now for that 3M Reflective back. I love it. And I know you guys do too, you sneaker addicts out there. <laughs> this shoe will retail for 190 bucks and fits true to size. As far as the quality... It's nice, except a few things, which I will point out once we get up close to the shoe. Just pay attention to the glue by the suede and the leather. That's really my main issue with these shoes. Getting up close, nice tumbled leather on the toe. And you have, see the glue right there by that Dora Buck suede going to the leather. I hate it. It looks like snot. It's nasty. I just wish they put a little more quality control since they're charging $190 for them. You've got your indentation, supposed to represent a panther, and you've got your dots, which has that reflective over the black. Take that out. There's your holographic look. That's supposed to represent the panther's eye right there. Absolutely love that look. So classic. Medial side of the shoe. Once again, true to size, I don't recommend going up half a size unless you have like a brick as a foot. Go true to size. You actually may even be able to get away with going down half a size if you have a narrow foot. And let's get close up. Check it out. Bird's eye view on the toe. Going up, you have your Jordan tag, your rope laces, and your Jumpman in red over black. Inside, you have a black insole with your red Jumpman. And there's a look at the outsole representing the panther's claws. You have your shank plate in the middle, herringbone traction on the forefoot and the heel with a little holographic hit in red with your jump man in the middle. Please subscribe if you're new and hit the bell. Let me know what you think of these shoes. Do you think they're going to sell out or not? That is the big question. I did a video a couple of days talking about that and it seems like most people think they will sit. In my opinion, I think they're going to sit, but if you really, really want these to the point where if you miss out, you're going to be upset, then I highly recommend you buy them on the release day. I will put information in the description box below, and I will update it on the day of the release, which is on the 19th, which is tomorrow. So stay tuned. Let me know if you're picking them up. Let me know if you think they're going to sit and I mean, how you feel about this actual shoe? Do you think it's hot? Do you think it's not? Matter of fact, I'll put one of the pop-ups where you can vote. And also, let me know if you think these are overrated. Because that's a big thing. Like, some people feel like this is an overrated shoe. They don't understand why people love them so much. This is definitely a lot of people's favorite 13. I would say these and the Flints are probably my favorite 13s. And the Cherries, those are fire too. The playoffs are dope too, the one with the leather upper. I'm just naming them all right now. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh my goodness. Once again, thanks for watching. This is one of the only channels where you're going to get real reviews. It's a gift and a curse that I don't get seeded from Jordan Brand where I get shoes all the time sent where I'm just going to smile and say this is great and not give you real reviews. So definitely if you're new here, subscribe. This is where you're going to get honesty where you're not going to get just a smile and a close-up look at the shoe. You're going to actually get an official review, and I'm going to try to help you guys out. I have a sneaker releasing August 25th. It's my first collaboration with Saucony. Make sure to support it August 25th at Saucony.com. I'm going to hit you right now with a trailer promo that I really love, so I hope you guys enjoy it too. Let's get into that. What does it mean to be an original? Being yourself, not paying attention to what he's wearing or what he's thinking, just doing you at all times and making yourself happy. I do whatever I want to do.
today I got to meet 10 other people that do somewhat of what I do. And it was like we've known each other for forever. It was magical. We went to Saucony headquarters, seen amazing things. We're getting our chance to design our own shoe, a dream of mine. We'll get to know each other better. You'll get to really kind of, again, sort of see and feel, um, you know, the Saucony soul a little bit. It feels kind of like a genuine friendship, you know, and this is happening through sneakers. Digging these right here, fire. I got to check out all different textures of suede and leathers and, man, even furs. I was looking at furs at one point. It's crazy, you would never think how many different shades of red there are, right? Maniacs like Warrior and Papo Dells Worldwide from Tokyo to the Apollo Y'all follow We leaders leading the way Block us, stop you out, take what you got Even your bag Okay, I reloaded more shots than money made Legends never die, living forever